what's up family welcome and welcome back to our space if it's your first time make sure you hit on the subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell so that every single time you're gonna make an upload you're gonna be notified thank you so much let's do this so it's been a minute since we did a food review and today we're gonna be doing food reviews from two different restaurants we're gonna do a review from harry's at the harbor and we're also gonna do another one from tommy bahama let's start with the um harry's at the harbor one so when you get to harry's at the harbor they are very beautiful scenic views and stuff like that because it's like providing you with like an island kind of view and uh, it's so beautiful but the last time that we came here was like before the pandemic it was a high-end kind of restaurant but when we go back this time um it was looking some type of way First of all, when you get inside, it was so full of dust and uh, the tables were not so clean and, uh, you know, and it had like a strong welcoming smell, which was not pleasant. And, you know, I was like, am I even going to stand sitting here? But, you know, <laughs> I was like, okay. So <laughs> The smell was super strong inside so we decided to go outside it was super windy outside also so <laughs> it was a struggle sitting outside but at least better because um there was like fresh air you can also see have a beautiful view out there the servers of that day they had a very good attitude though so that i'll give it to them okay so let's get into the menu this is how the menu looks like and I was having fish and chips. The pilot was having fish and chips. My mama was having uh, fish and chips too. And so was my dad. For starters, we had the wings like appetizers. And uh, I normally don't like wings that have been, you know, toasted in butter and stuff like that. So it's not my type of thing. But we also had uh, calamari, spicy calamari and stuff like that. <laughs> man for the first time i had that thing it was tasty until i saw the picture and i was like Ooh. <laughs> uh, you know those moments anyway it was nice and when the fish and chips arrived they were also nice so uh, we enjoyed our food so the spoiler a lot for the day was only the smell in there and then the tables were not so clean the waiters had a very good attitude the food came in hot it was yummy tasty and stuff but we had to struggle with the wind so if you are going to be sitting outside you gotta take note of the wind and stuff like that because you're know just next to the you know little water feature around there and stuff like that and then for the desire to what we were going to be doing was going to andy's So at Andy's, I normally have like build your own treat and I normally have like vanilla and then with some Oreo toppings, Oreo cookies. My mom was also having the build your own treat, but she was having with the pecan as the toppings. And then the pilot was having the chocolate milk shake. Generally, we enjoyed ourselves, everything that we ate. I just not so pleased with the environment and stuff, but everything came in handy. So let's go to the next one. Let's go to Tommy Bahama. 
Yot anymore, but now, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yot anymore, but, hey, yeah. What's up, family? It's your girl, Vanilla Genius, coming at you straight to let you know that we just dropped a brand new single. It's called Mahaba, streaming across all major streaming platforms. And this is to let you know that you need to share this with your loved ones because every single person across the world needs some love. Hey, you know what to do. I'm going to see you on the next one. Keep streaming, streaming, streaming. Thank you so much for the love and support. And stay blessed. Peace. So first of all, this place is in Legacy West. And, um, you know, you can see a, a lot of beautiful places around there. So when you get inside, this is how it looks like. They also got like a little store out there, you know, Tommy Bahama is a brand. So, you know, they got like clothes, you know, they got like perfumes and whatnot. But, you know, today we were focusing on the restaurant and let's find out how it goes. Oh, before I forget, because it's in Shops at Legacy, you have a problem with the packing. So you got to pack somewhere else and then find your way to the restaurant. This is how the menu looks like. So on this particular day, there was like a live band performing and it was awesome. They were friendly too. So they allowed us to even take pictures and uh, to record them while they were performing. Inside, it looks so beautiful, like there are a little bit of details to the interiors here and there, the lightings. And I loved how this, you know, thing was sprinkling the mist and stuff like that to cool it down because it's really hot right now, it's summer. So I found that a little bit interesting. I'm a person who loves art and art is me. So that's why I pay so much attention to such details. So when you hear Tommy Bahama, all that comes into your head is like tropical islandy and stuff like that. And they even respect that on the walls. You can see it's tropical kind of look and stuff like that. And uh, we finally got inside and got seated. Initially, we were just sitting outside on the patio and stuff. But now we go finally inside and there is more artwork to view right here. So this is how the drink menu looks like. And right there on the upper right, you can see like there is a QR code. That is where you scan and it takes you to the food menu. So you can only find it online. So we started by having the lemonade as always. We normally have like this strawberry lemonade and it was the worst. It was so bitter, man. It's like they forgot the strawberry part. Just like any other steakhouse, they start by giving you bread. The bread was so tough, too salty. <laughs> we didn't like it. In my head, I just wanted to try the filet mignon, but the server of the day said that it's not gonna come out good. So uh, he recommended the ribeye, which we both had, and we didn't like it. So mostly we normally do like medium well, but we told these people medium well and they did I mean, it could even be like over well. It was more than well done. So that was a spoiler number one. The food arrived uh, hot. It took so long for the food to arrive. But it also took so long for the person to refill the drink, not even to come back. Oh, before I forget that there was a lady who came and she <laughs> had a very nasty attitude. The lady who was uh, kind of like serving us. 
because they, there's like a waiter and then there's a server. So this lady was bringing us the food, but we still had the bread on the table. So imagine the lady wanted us to squeeze the bread, <laughs> the bread with the food instead of just grabbing the plate of the bread or even asking us if we're done with it. And especially the tables are not so big. So it was kind of rude. And when I was even giving her a sign, but she was really giving, pushing the things there. So it was like, that's not really professional. It was like law and etiquette and stuff like that. And when uh, the pilot normally drinks a lot. So uh, as per the requirements, like the waiter or waitress is supposed to keep tabs on how you are doing, how are you enjoying the food? How is the drink going? Should I give you a refill and stuff like that? These people did not do that. After they served, they disappeared. And uh, when we finally got a hold of this person, he came back, the person who was serving us, he came back and we asked for the refill and he said, okay. And he went away. This person did not come until when we were like the pilot was two cuts away from finishing his ribeye. And that's when he now brought the, the, the um, refill. But the funny thing was also like they were so slow to bring the refill or even to be around. But when we gave them uh, the check, when we asked for the check, they gave it immediately. So that was like a red flag. We were like, what? What is that? So either it's too busy and understaffed or I don't know. I just don't understand it. But yeah, that was our experience going to Tommy Bahama. It, will we ever go back there again? Never. We were not impressed with anything. The bread was not so good. The ribeye wasn't good. And it took so long for them to give us like a refill. The food came in hot and, um, you know, it took like maybe 30 minutes for us to get the food. So I don't know if I would give them like our um, seven. I'm going to give them a seven star rating. They deserve that. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye bye. If you need to see more on food, music, beauty, fashion, DIY, flying, and so much more, kindly hit on the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the post notification bell so that every single time we're going to be making an upload, you are going to be notified. Thank you so much for the love and support and I'm going to see you on the next one. Peace.